What's up, ghouls? My name is Yasmina. Welcome back to The Rewind Zone here on Rumor TV, where I love to discuss my favorite 80s trashy movies. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite 80s movies that is very near and dear to my heart, and that movie is Hard Rock Zombies. Hard Rock Zombies was released in 1985 and it was directed by Krishna Shah. Uh, so it opens with a scene where a couple of fellas are driving down the road and they see a hot babe hitchhiking and they're like, sweet, let's pick her up. They pick her up and they decide to go skinny dipping. As they're skinny dipping, two little people are creeping and watching them and one of the little people is Phil Fondacaro and the other looks like he's made of play-doh as they're skinny dipping of course murder ensues there's been a murder in kelvin side there's been another murder there's been another murder there's been another murder and this is actually kind of funny because for some reason drowning can make you bleed and she decides to chop off one of their hands and sings a lovely song about it. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. Cut to the band. They're playing a fabulous song called Shake It Up Baby. Shake, shake, shake it up, baby. Shake, shake, shake it up, baby. And the audience is just filled with screaming women. At the end of the show, they're backstage, and it's a great shot of just a bunch of men in their underwear. So the singer of the band, Jesse, he's played by EJ Curse, and he's a very deep man. He doesn't care for sluts. That's it. Freeze! Good, good, okay. One more. Jesse, just one more. That's enough. Come on, one more. As Jesse is being deep, he notices a very shy, quiet girl. And she goes up to him and she warns him, don't come to the show the next day. They don't want you there. And then she goes and runs away. So the band decide to ignore the warning and they get in their van and they drive to the next town to play the show. As they're driving, of course, they see the same woman from earlier hitchhiking and they decide to pick her up. Her name is Elsa and she's played by an actress named Lisa Toothman. She's in one of the witchcraft movies and also a fabulous movie called Rollerblade by Donald G. Jackson. So if you've never seen that movie, I highly recommend it. So Elsa offers to let them stay at her house. And her house is basically a giant hotel where her whole family lives. And mom is a werewolf in a wheelchair. I don't want to be impolite, but what's that screaming? It's just my mother's primal scream therapy. Montage! There is one scene that's pretty obvious that they hired random people just standing outside of the Bank of America and the sheriff is like, fuck this evil shit and arrests them and they're in jail and this jail may double as a stable because there is fucking hay everywhere and is just like, show's canceled, too bad and they're like, what the fuck? I will have to say that I do appreciate old people fucking in movies. You're 95 years old and you can still do it. It's a vitamin spirulina. And Phil Fondacaro and Play-Doh face watching. It's just like the cherry on top. I got the grandchildren. House, house. So the timid girl, she's back and she bails them out of jail and they walk out of the jail and the drummer, bless him, he's got this like cocky attitude. You coming to the show, show tomorrow, tomorrow night? night? The, loud the loud show? show. 
the loud the music, music show, show. Rock, rock and roll. roll. I love that line so much that I made it my answering machine for many years. Jesse wants to thank the timid girl for bailing them out of jail and his way of doing that is to write a song about her. Get ready for some romance, people. Whoa, Cassie, won't you tell me what to do? I want to spend my life in love with you. Whoa, Cassie! Uh, you can get the soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, Lunaris Records released it. It's a great, great soundtrack. I mean, <laughs> obviously. So clearly there's something nefarious going on in this house and the family are holding the band captive. Cassie knows what's up. So once again, she goes to save Jesse, but then a Nazi with a hedge trimmer runs after them. And dad takes his face mask off and it's like, surprise, I'm Hitler. 40 years I'm waiting and you are telling me, come, dump up, swine brains, long enough I'm hiding a mask. Oh my God. <clears throat> so there are zombies at one point in this movie called Hard Rock Zombies. So the zombie band are now on their way to the show. This is definitely probably the most hilarious part in the movie in terms of a cheese factor. As they're playing the song Cassie, there's this meta kind of montage going on in Jesse's mind. His fucking mullet is blowing in the wind and he like lifts her up like dirty dancing style and it's just so funny to me because the lyric in the song is like I love you but you're so young and also you just fucking met her yesterday bud. It takes this long to get to the best scene in the whole movie. Plato face starts to fucking eat himself. It's so funny. He just literally eats himself up. Who fucking thinks of this shit? Bravo! <laughs> So, story time. A long time ago, my podcast did this movie for an episode, and uh, someone had reached out to EJ Curse and told him about this. And he actually listened to the episode and he emailed my podcast. He was drinking alcohol at the time that he was listening because that's what you do when you listen to Witchfinger Horror Podcast and thanked us for loving this stupid movie that he did when he was a young person. I love it when people, you know, devote the time to reach out to their fans and of course I love bad stupid movies but this movie was a pivotal part of my teenage years. Me and like my best friends would watch it all the fucking time. So EJ Curse, you say it's stupid, but really it's the memories that this movie has created in my life that is what makes it so special to me and the people in my life, you know what I mean? And that's what fans cherish, you know, about the stuff that they love. I just wanted to say, Thank you for making this stupid movie and for reaching out and you keep on rocking. I love, 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 love this movie and, you know, don't take it for granted. It's art. Jesse?
Thanks for watching this episode of The Rewind Zone here on Rumor TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, let me know what other movies you want me to cover. I hope you love Hard Rock Zombies as much as I do. And don't forget, be kind, rewind, or else Elsa's gonna chop your motherfucking hand off and sing with it because she's a fucking freak. Yeah. Fuck my ass. Do you happen to have a severed hand? Uh, yeah, I just saw one. Yeah. <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love my job. All right. <laughs>